Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Beta 18. So, what are we doing today? Well, we've got a few tasks still left over to do from previous episodes. We've got a little bit of our uh, flagstone flooring to do. Uh, we're running power lines into our joy room so we can get our new flat screen television going with our comfy human leather armchairs. So, we're going to be working on that. Uh, I do believe last episode we got attacked by some of these scythers, so we're going to be removing their blades for money, hopefully. We'll see how well that goes. And hopefully we don't fail that miserably. And other than that, I think maybe it's time to potentially expand our walls. Because we actually don't have space for another person unless one of our colonists gets with the other colonists. And oh yeah, we do have males and females, right? Yes. Okay. And they are not interested in the same sex. So we have no problems. Maybe these guys can get together and then we'll free up a slot. Who knows? Like, these are fantastic friends. But are they gonna get together? No, because they're both females and not gay. Oh well. But anyway, regardless of that... We want to expand our walls a bit because I want to get a new area for housing in here. And we can expand up here as well. I'm thinking, essentially, what I want to do is take... Hello? Thank you. Take this line across here. Bring this back here. This is just rough, of course. But something like that bring our walls out that much so we can get another layer of housing in here and then we can do something with this space up here as well potentially we are going to uh, waste a little bit of this wall unfortunately but we can deconstruct this and use some of the materials we get back from it to increase the size of our wall so it's not going to be all too bad so if we want to do that i think we'll wait a little bit I kind of want people to start doing the mining so we can get some steel so we can finish off some of these jobs. I think we've got, yeah, some deadfall traps and some sandbags left to do. So I need to bump somebody up on mining. And we're Enfield. It's going to be you. Don't need you to do anything else, really. Uh, one of our heaters has broken down. Well, it's uh, six degrees, so it's not the end of the world, but wouldn't mind you getting that sorted. That'd be grand. But yeah, some extra room in this place would be uh, quite nice. I mean, we do have some like slots here and there for different buildings and things like that, but I'd like to keep all of my colonists in one place, if at all possible, so that when uh, we get raided or something like that and I um, draft them all at the same time, they're all in the same area, so if they mine through here, for example, I don't have some over here that have got to get involved. They're all just here waiting, ready to get going on that. And vice versa. Alright. Apparently we're planting flowers, even though that's a complete waste of time, Bon Jovi. Are we... Shutting you down? Yeah, we've got you set to do that. I think it's Hannibal who did it last time, so... Yeah. We've got some Scyther Blades. They are worth 2,000 silver each. So that's pretty good. Seems we haven't failed any, so I think we've got three. Or have we got four? Looks like we got four. Scythe blade, scythe blade, scythe blade, and scythe blade. Yeah, and we got four. Nice. I swear one of them was purely shut down and one of them only had one thing to take, but whatever. I ain't complaining. And deconstruction on that's going all right. I'm honestly, like this here, not so fussed about it. And take it or leave it, to be honest. Just seems like uh, an annoying trek for the sake of like four stone blocks, so I'm just going to tell them not to bother. Why are we putting mechanoid corpses in here? Can we not do that, please? Thank you. Uh, this area is full. We need to uh, toggle the power on this so that it can disassemble them. But this should take mechanoid corpses. It just shouldn't take anything that um, rots or 
is a chunk in pretty much most cases, I think. So, if we turn that on, somebody should get to doing the machining. We've got disassemble mechanoids set and several mechanoids of which need deconstructing. So we'll get a fair bit of plasteel from that, a fair bit of components. I don't think we get steel from them. Uh, it looks like sandstone needs bumping up. Can we get that done so that we can actually have some space in our stockpile for the chunks? How's our food? 586. I think we had an order set for attacking Muffalo, but they seem to have evacuated the area. In fact, most of the wildlife has. We might have to actually attack bears to survive. Oh boy. Well, all snow's melting, so I'm going to set hunting orders while I can see things that don't explode. That are not our own animals, because if I can avoid eating our own animals for the time being, that'd be great. Yeah, it looks to be it. Alright, we just have to keep checking from time to time to make sure that we've got um, hunting orders constantly on the go. I'm a little worried that the bear's going to eat our pigs. There's a squirrel there, but it's just no point hunting that level of meat. Are you... Yeah, you're just coming back to rest. Why don't you take some steel with you? There's a mod to stop them from doing that. But I just really feel like it should be in the vanilla game right now. I think it's prone to bugging out, though, which is why I didn't bother to put it in this time around. We've actually finished off all of our flagstone uh, footpaths, so that's pretty nice. I like that. In fact, I would also like the flagstone to be here as well. Bring it through the door. Hey, we've got power. Very nice. It's taking 150 watt. How much does the uh, lamp take? 75. Wow. Oh dear. Alright. Oh, we did say we wanted to uh, improve everybody's bedrooms, didn't we, as well? So let's do that. Boop, boop, and boop. These want to be superior quality. Bare minimum, I think. And then we can do the same for the bedside tables. Superior quality. There we go. And Leslie should get on that. We've got 795 wood. Huh. We seem to have used a fair bit of it somewhere. Interesting. Eh, good quality. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm actually going to compromise. Normal. Unacceptable, though. <laughs> I want slightly better than average, please. Oops, no. Oh. Ooh, hello. We have an individual who is not a cannibal who wants to join, so we are going to reject them. That is the rule. We must stand by it. Alright, so everyone's rooms are going to get a little bit better. Their sleeping is going to be improved as well, somewhat. Which is nice. We actually have filled up our stockpile for stone chunks. So maybe it is time to start extending our wall. At least, like, build it while we're not um, deconstructing this bit. What I'm going to need to do then is I'm going to need to plan out how big these are going to be. So that's going to be the secondary bedroom. And this is mud, and I don't think I can build on mud, can I? No. So this is this line here is perfectly how far out I can go without making a really awkward looking line. So I think what it's going to be then is not this far, actually. We're going to have a 
one wide gap from there and then a wall coming up this way. I think that's going to be the size of our area. Maybe we do want too wide around here actually thinking about it because we don't want people getting trapped up here as in like slowed down by trees and stuff like that so yeah you know what let's extend it out so they've got a too wide space and then cancel all of that not decided how far up I want this to go but it will eventually go up that way so let's just give them that order I guess for making marble and let them do their thing if we start struggling for marble or something like that, then we can deconstruct this, but while we have plenty, I'm just going to build the wall up from the outside and then deconstruct our way to allow it allow us to go through. It's just a safer option, really. Okay. So, I'm going to bump marble up, and then slate's going to be at the bottom. Slate's the only thing that we don't need right now. But it's the one that he's got an order for. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bump this down to one to 110 and then unpause at 20, I guess. So it's done. We only need a little bit of slate, I think, because we're only using it for our flagstone. I will eventually want to go around this area here so that everybody can maneuver around, but until then, I'm not that fussed, in all honesty. It's just a shame this river juts out the way that it does, because I would love to have extended out this fridge in a way that doesn't look disgusting, but I guess we're going to have to settle with it looking disgusting. I suppose we could like, do maybe extend out the fridge this way. And then take this area here and join that into our kitchen dining area, maybe. So we can make this a proper dining area and then have a proper kitchen, maybe. Something like that. Something to think about for the future, anyway. Is this a crafting job? It is, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, crafting skill. So, Hannibal should be doing it unless... He's hunting, which we have set him to do. And then Leslie's going to be doing it. <sighs> mm. Fair enough. Oh, Hannibal's doing tailoring. Huh? Why are you doing tailoring over crafting? Your priorities are to do crafting first. Right, I'm just going to make you do it because... Our stop pile's filling up, and it's only a quick job. And it gives people a hauling job to do as well, I suppose, at the same time. Oh, it is steel and components. It's 36 steel and a component. Most of it, I think, is plasteel that you get from these guys. Which we can do a fair bit with. Okay, what does everyone think of their rooms now? Let's have a look. Dull. Dull. Awful. Decent. Are they dull because they're dirty? Could be. Could be. Hmm. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out at a later time. I guess we could put a plant in there, because yours is decent because it's got a plant. So, maybe. That might be what we want to do. Get some plant pots in there. Use the sandstone we've got too much of. Yeah. I, I want to work on this wall, though, I think. Uh, if anyone joins our colony, they've got nowhere to go except for the prisoner rooms or maybe a hospital bed. I just really don't want them to uh, hang around in there. If I can help it. Is this generating light? It is. Interesting. I didn't realise the machining table generated a bit of light. So it's 0% uh, dark there, but over here it's 50 it seems as though it's the light is radiating out from it. Who knew? Maybe if I turn it off, the uh, the light goes out. Might as well test that out, because we've done all of the scythers. 
Yeah, it does generate light. The more you know. Hmm. Wonder if that means that nobody gets a working in the dark debuff when they're using the machining table. Hmm. In spring already. How wonderful. That seems to have gone real quick. We're starting the planting again. I thought we were going to really struggle for uh, food for quite some time, but we seem to have just gotten through it without any effort, barely even noticing, for the most part. Huh. Cool. Well, at least we know now to not stop um, the allow sewing order, because uh, we stopped it at about 2,000, and that just wasn't enough. They seem to eat a lot more hair grass than you think. Uh, at first, so uh, it's something to be aware of. Oh, you made a, a superior human leather parka. Nice. It's worth 885 silver. Beautiful. Somebody's going to come pick that up. And it's going to put them in a fine mood, one would hope. Hmm. Can I make human leather tribal headdresses? I feel like that would be hilarious. Though, I'm not sure if it takes over the helmet slot. I would assume it does. And we do eventually just plan on giving Hannibal and Vlad a helmet anyway. So, a bit of a waste of resources. I think it tells you here. Covers the head, yeah. But it could be like the the jacket shirt combo, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Somebody does. Alright. So I can't believe we've done like a good third of that wall already. We are out of marble now though, so we could do something else that requires a block type that we have right now. We could even just like start building the walls of our new homes so that when we deconstruct this we've only got like two tiles to do. Yeah, sure why not. I don't see the harm in doing this. So we want to put some doors on here as well. Boop. Boop. And we can just use that sandstone that we've got available while they generate the marble we need for, to complete this wall, essentially. I won't fill that in, because that will fail miserably. Although, what I could do is do it from the inside out and work our way through. Seems reasonable. So, forbid that. Forbid that. Build a copy. Build a copy. And the wall. Forbid that. And forbid that. There we go. So they'll build most of the bedrooms with the sandstone that we've got. And Leslie will just use the marble that we get as we accumulate it to finish the rest of it. Do the wood for the doors. If they come and attack it, they come and attack it. It's really no big deal, really. I think the time that we waste is the bigger deal, really. Hmm. So, yeah, I like the plans that we've got going. So, we've started planting, and Bon Jovi seems to have actually hit a point now where he can grow heel roots. That's real good. It's probably from all of these uh, flowers that I've been planting as well, give you constant growing skill. And because they're constantly being eaten by the animals and just dying out in general, the replanting gives him a constant growing task to do, so he's always improving, which is really nice. Seems to be leaving all of the tiles with the trees stuck in them. Just for the best, I suppose. Wouldn't mind some of the wood, though. It does have its uses. And with the two boomalops we've got as well, I've just noticed as well, we've got 300 chem fuel, and we're still managing to keep a chem fuel power generator going strong. So if we do need another power source in the future, just another chem fuel generator, 
is going to do just fine. Those two Boomalope will eventually make sweet babies that we can also milk for chem fuel. So that's all good. Have I set like a massive sandstone order and I've not noticed? Because that seems to be all they're bringing in. There's a marble order. Hmm. I must have done somewhere. Those are just sandstone blocks. Those are not chunks. Interesting. Could also deconstruct these, but I like these little bits of ruins because I can use them as like um, funnel points for enemies, knowing that they'll cut around these edges. Uh, allows me to place deadfall traps and stuff like that around them. So they are actually, to a certain degree, defensive um, bonuses for us. And if we're ever forced to go outside the base to shoot something as well, they're cover waiting for us. So that's why I leave them, unless I really desperately need the materials that they provide and I can't get them anywhere else. Like granite, for example, is a material that you can't get on this map. Is that like sandstone flooring? Yeah. I'm going to remove that because it's bugging me. For no other reason. And we also kind of need the materials. All the same. Pretty good. Not bad at all. So I think this, uh, this base is coming along quite nicely. I would like somebody to actually start doing research. I want to get those mortars up and running. So I want to bump somebody up on research. It's probably Renfield. And then we'll bump him... Hmm. Is there a task that I want him to do over research? I suppose, like, maintain cleaning. When that's done, research. He's going to be around the base cleaning anyway, so... Yeah. It's not much of a task to do as long as he maintains it at all times. I think that will be just fine. We have no food. Actually, absolutely no food. Uh, Hunt, Hunt, v not Vlad, who's our best shot? It'll be Leslie. Alright, Leslie, come with me. I need you to murder an animal for me. Like right now. There we go, right. And haul it back. And we're not going to starve. For very long. Problem mostly solved. Who is our cook? That would be Vlad. Vlad, can you come and butcher, please? A so has given birth. Wonderful. And cook. I know you were about to start eating there. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't we're playing this game now cook the damn meals and eat those instead right undraft they should all go after the meals there we go don't Vlad finish yours and start cooking there you go I don't want them eating raw meat if it's not if it's not human meat. There you go. I shouldn't have to do that ever again. And looks like the hunting order has been taken advantage of. Did you just get like murdered by a bear? You did. Alright, well. Guess we'll take that. I feel really on edge about having a bear near our construction site, especially since Leslie's the one doing it. Our best colonist. I might send out an order next episode to go murder that as a group. But we're going to leave it off here anyway, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. And if you have, then be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon or right next the subscription button. And that will give you notifications when I release new videos. I do hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.